Anthony was confused as he meditated upon the depths of God's judgments. And he asked God, Lord, how is it that some die young and others grow old and sick? Why are there some poor and some rich? Why are there those who are bad and rich and oppress the good poor? He heard a voice saying to him, Anthony, worry about yourself. These other matters are up to God, and it will not do you any good to know them. This is very important for me to learn this because I have something of a scientific mind where I want to know everything. I want to know how everything works. I have to have it all figured out. I need to know how God works, his plan, how he exerts grace, how he decides. If you do that, that is pride. And that is going to separate you from God more than anything else. It's matter of factly, none of your business, what God chooses, why God made the world the, the way it is. Give thanks to him for even being here, for even having an opportunity to be saved by him. But it's none of your business why there is this and that. Now, if you ask someone, uh, Roosh, why is there suffering on the earth? Or you ask someone else, they can give you an answer that's pretty good. But why do you need to know? You don't need to know. Get out of that frame where I need to know why God does. You don't need to know anything. You need to know what you have to do to be in his grace. That's all you have to know. That's all you need to know. It stops there. Now, I know a lot of you who are not close to God are not going to like that answer. It's none of my business. You want to get me to the faith? I know you don't want that, but that's the only answer that has helped me. Because you can get like, okay, let's, let's give a good example. Rush, why is there evil in the world? Well, sir, there is evil in the world because God has given us free will. And some creatures use that free will for evil. And we are impacted by evil people who exert their evil upon us. It's because God loves us so much. He doesn't want us to be slaves for himself that he gives us free will while he knew that many, maybe if not most, would use that free will for evil that would hurt other people. No. That is an accurate answer. That makes sense. Yeah. Evil exists because people are just choosing it. God gave us free will because of his love for us. But that doesn't, all that does is encourage you to ask another question. Yeah. One question is is answered and it takes you to another one i need an answer for this question i need an answer for that question there's actually a website uh by a protestant group called got questions where they have tens of thousands of questions that you can ask and they have pretty good answers biblically sourced answers but what does that do it keeps the fire of your pride burning i have more questions so now you have to get out of the frame of wondering why God does this or that. You don't need to know. In fact, the more you know, the more you set yourself up to fall. It's none of your business how God chooses to make the world. After you are saved, after you go to meet him, you can ask him. But by then, once you see his glory, you're not going to even, all your, all your questions that you had to understand are going to seem so small and trivial When you ask why and it concerns God, that is pride. Please, God, help me not doubt you, not doubt that you made the world in a way that it has to be. As evil as it is, as hard as it is, in the midst of a global pandemic, it has to be this way. I trust you that if you didn't make it in this way, it would be 10 times worse. It would be unbearable. Thank you for creating it in a way that I can glorify you and come to you today. Now, that's easier said than done. <laughs>
as your faith grows, I hope you can get there. I'm getting there. It's none of my business. This is how it is. It had to be this way. It had to be this way. This was the best that God can do while giving us free will, while allowing souls that want to be saved to be saved. It has to be this way. 